Hey, this will be a video chart on NEOM, Neo Media Technologies Incorporated. Uh, before I get started, I want to note that I don't know anything about the company. I followed the chart for a long time now. Um, but with any comments I make, I don't. It's just pure speculation on my part. Uh, so I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, the reason for doing this one is simply I had a ton of requests pouring. Um, a lot of people, you, I could kind of tell the drift of the chart, but just by reading requests in the morning time. You know, it was people that were fired up, and that's when, you know, this was all a green candle. And then as the day went on, you know, the more mess just kind of turned to people being nervous, asking what's going on, you know, all that sort of thing. And I'll just start off by saying, I don't know what happened today. Um, all I know, and I'm going to state the obvious here because that's what the chart's telling me, is that uh, at one point during the day, the bulls were in total charge. And then by the end of the day, uh, you know, it was back to where it started. Um, the previous day so why that happened I don't know I'll offer out some suggestions and but that's what I mean about anything that I offer is possible wise you know I don't know if that's the case it's just uh, speculation on my part but you can see today uh, huge volume I haven't seen this big a volume since way back here in October um, so you know from a volume standpoint you know not even close when you compare it to uh, the, the previous weeks um, in terms of of the amount of shares going back and forth. Um, so first let's just start off with the five minute chart and we'll kind of get a breakdown of what happened today. Uh, you can see that basically the first uh, about 35 minutes uh, with just a nice move up after the gap. So we had a gap and it was a gap and run this morning. Um, so my guess would be maybe some news or something out. Uh, but whatever happened, it was taken very well into the morning, and then right at 10:05, uh, that's just when you know this the downwards drift started, and you know that it just drifted back down to like I said where it had started the day before. This was the close um, from the previous day, and you can see that it actually closed a little bit below it. So the gap and run, and then retrace the rest of the day uh, to where it started on. Looking down here, much bigger volume. Uh, the majority of the volume came in, in this first little time period here, but still throughout the rest of the day, there were there were still uh, spurts of uh, significantly bigger volume. So back to the daily chart. What does this mean? You know, what what could it possibly be? Well, there's kind of good news and bad news, and you know, we'll just start off with the bad news. A bad case scenario would be. The reason this happened was because of dilution or something like that, where the company's raising money by just hammering the market with shares. You know, I don't know if that's the case, but that is a possible scenario on why you know the the price retraced all the way back here. Now, a possible good news scenario is maybe there is some big shareholder or some sort of finance or somebody that said, you know what, today I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clear out of my shares. So they saw the price come up here like this, and they thought, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of this, and I'm just going to get my money and be done with it. So the rest of the day, they just spent, you know, hammering the price back down, unloading their shares. Now, if that was is the case, you know, hopefully they're gone, and hopefully now the stock will have room to move back up. Is that the case? I have no idea. But once again, kind of two sides of the coin there, where, uh, you know, it, it could be a possibility of this is kind of. Uh, a capitulation day in the sense of either a big shareholder or financer just decided to unload their shares and now it's time to go back up or there's could be something where the company's behind this and this is just the start of a continued down move I don't know which it's gonna be uh, but the rest of the week that's what's great about charting you can't hide from charts the rest of the week it's gonna kinda tell us what sort of um, direction things are gonna take now the other thing to keep in mind is we still did manage to hold above this purple line here which is the 50 day simple moving average you can see it's been having a good history of supporting the price uh, so hopefully this holds up and uh, will act as a trampoline again uh, but once again you know keep an eye on it because if you see another big volume day and the price just crashed through it you know that's not going to be very encouraging um, but at the same time if you see some green come tomorrow on less volume then that you know could get be evidence towards a scenario where there is just some big shareholder in there. He's out, and now it's time, or now the price is able to move back up, you know, with less volume because they don't have to chew through all these shares. So once again, you know, it, it's it's kind of a wait and see big time because we got to see how it reacts to the rest of this week after a, a crazy day like this. And that's pretty much how you can only sum up a day like this. It's just crazy to have a gap and run, 
and then close all the way back here. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and say this is totally bad uh, because it could be good if this was uh, that one scenario. But at the same time, you know, it could be bad too. But um, that's just where the rest of the week comes into play and seeing how the price action uh, reacts. So I'm hoping that it was just a scenario where somebody just wanted to unload their shares. They're all done now. So now the price can move up much more easier uh, than what it had been. Or possibly, uh, you know, there's bad news that came out. But the reason I don't think it was bad news, and of course I could go and check this, so I guess call me lazy. Um, but the reason I don't think it was bad news was because if you look at the chart, let me, it wasn't a sudden drop. You know, it en actually went up and then slowly drifted down the rest of the day. So it wasn't like the, the company announced something and then you just saw the price fall off a cliff. It was a slow and steady decrease uh, the whole day. So that makes me think that it had nothing to do with bad news. Sure, I could be wrong, but seeing just the, the slow, steady nature of the decline uh, today it makes me think that it was you know something other than, other than uh, that. So if you have any other questions on the chart, uh, please shoot me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, on another note, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and subscribe to the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting very good reviews. And then with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is it's all free, so it's worth at least checking out. We've been making some good money together, uh, so it's worth giving a try. One more time, this was N-E-O-M. Thanks for listening.